Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a singles new love reading for my dearest Taurus. Taurus, we're going to take a look at who's coming towards you in love. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages, advice, and guidance come through for my dearest Taurus for their highest and greatest good. And happy birthday to all my Taurus out there. Oh, it looks like you've got a Knight of Cups here. And it, it looks like this is absolutely somebody who's a secret admirer here or about to confess their feelings. What they like about you, the Four of Swords, and what else you need to know, the Five of Pentacles. All right, and we have the Ten of Wands showing up here. So I do feel that um, someone here has definitely been through a painful divorce or separation. It feels to me, to be honest, Taurus, that this really could be karmic justice here, either for you or for your person, maybe even for both of you. This person likes that you're in this Four of Swords energy, so they may pick up on you being very healed, or you just have a very healing quality. Maybe the laughter or the humor that you share is going to bring a lighthearted and healing energy to you too. With the Knight of Cups, this person could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. I just feel they're very romantic in nature. So I also feel, Taurus, that they're going to really speak to your Venusian energy here. Yeah, it's your person, or maybe both of you have just been very disappointed in love. Um, your person um, may have also lost quite a bit of money in a divorce, or maybe they're just struggling a little bit financially, or they have been. All right, but it looks like, well, we'll see. And we see, and the moon card. Okay, they might sort of keep that hidden. Um, or, you know, I do feel like this person, they have this a little bit of energy of lack here. But I feel like that's just because they're maybe giving up hope or faith that they're going to find the right person. Um, you know, I, I feel they've been very disappointed in love here, Taurus. In fact, I think both of you really have. And so this person is very deeply romantic. Cancer Pisces energy coming through. But they're definitely on your path for a reason with this Wheel of Fortune card. I love that because it tells me you two absolutely are destined soulmates, partners, you know, this is destiny on your side, bringing you two together. All right. <clears throat> so let's see. What else do my Taurus need to know about this person coming their way? Okay. They're a business owner. All right. So they, yeah, an entrepreneur or they, or they just do really quite well for themselves. Maybe they're recovering financially in their business. Like they might've gone through, you know, a loss or like a, a, a slow period. This person has strong fire in their chart. I'm hearing fire moon. Okay, so that could be Aries, Leo, or Sag. Maybe that's your energy, but it's going to resonate with someone for sure because it came through really strong fire moon. <laughs> okay, and we have jealous. So this person might be a little bit possessive because it does look like they may have experienced infidelity or insecurity within relationships. But I, and, and it could be because of that five of pentacles because of the disappointment that they've experienced. Again, I'm not trying to make any excuses for any bad behavior, just behavior. Just address this when it comes up, Taurus. And we see that this person is quite creative. So they may work with art. They may be a creative. Maybe they have their own, you know, social media platform. Maybe they're a content creator. Um, but this person, regardless, they like to work with their hands or music. They bring, um, creativity to whatever they do. So I feel like that's going to be something that you really appreciate here, Taurus. All right. And with the seven of swords showing up in reverse, I do like this because ooh, look at the bottom of the deck rolling in money. Um, yeah, they might have really rebuilt their business or built a business up after some financial difficulties. But I feel with the seven of swords, they're definitely moving on. And I feel with the seven of swords, they're a secret admirer. And they're about to express their feelings, let you know how they, you know, what they want from you from this relationship. They love nature. I know I said that really weirdly. This person is a secret admirer and they're going to tell you how they're feeling. <laughs> I just all of a sudden was like, okay, earth, earth, earth to me. They may have a bit of a dark past. Okay. 
and we see this person may be slender in stature, but remember physical attributes are not going to resonate with all of you and that's okay. It will certainly be confirmation for some of you. We get rolling and money coming through and we also see from down under. So I may be talking to some of my Aussies out there, maybe even Kiwi, um, but, uh, or maybe there's an Australian connection here between the two of you. Um, if it's not this person. Okay, let's see. So I do feel like they've released for, I do feel they're in a healed energy and that's why they're going to be so attracted to you being in the four of swords here, Taurus. All right. So let's see, clear messages, advice, and guidance. Okay. So we get this person sings in the shower. This is also my workout card. Like I just get this energy of like high endorphins after a good workout. So they probably go to the gym or they like to be physical, physical activity. Okay. They have a pet. All right. Maybe some of you are already talking to this person called you the other night and we see they may have an imperfection in their speech. Again, it may come from speaking another language. Um, and they grew up in a better than average household. Beautiful, beautiful energy here around this person. <clears throat> Clear messages, advice, and guidance for my Taurus, please. Who is this new person headed their way? All right, so we do get some initials, some letters coming through. X, M, F, S, G, O. Someone might have like a serious, I don't know what the sticker is, serious X, F, M sticker in their car. Okay, interesting message coming through. Like, just like I'm seeing it on the, on like the passenger side window or the driver's side window, like a small sticker. All right. Some of you, you're going to meet this person online and this person is going to be playful, fun, spontaneous. It's going to be really exciting. And for some of you, they may have a fair or light skin tone. Okay. What they love about my Taurus here is the four of swords. Again, they're going to find you to be very calming. They're going to find you to be very healing. Also, you're not trying to rush this person is what I'm getting. You also protect your heart because most likely you both have been in this five of pentacles energy or just been disappointed in love. Yeah. They're a little bit worried you're going to reject them, but they also like the fact that they have to work for it a little bit, Taurus. All right. And with temperance energy here, um, you know, more so I feel like they see you as an earth angel. Um, they may find you to be, you know, maybe even a little bit unpredictable, which I think they, I think they like, it's like, they do like a little bit of a challenge here. Um, and they also like that you're quite confident. And again, I think you, you are probably a wounded healer, Taurus. And I think this person really appreciates that about you, that you source your wisdom and your authority from your experiences, from what you've been through. And I, I feel they really, really admire you because of that. Yeah. And I just see, yeah, look at that. A lot of you, this is leading to a higher level of commitment, maybe even marriage. It's also telling me you two are very compatible and uh, you'll fit in with each other's friends and families. Okay. What else do they love about my Taurus? What else do they love about my Taurus? Oh, all right. So they see you as um, seeing the potential for sacred beauty in all things and the belief that everything is possible. Yeah. You're just going to really renew this sense of excitement and happiness for them. There's just magic around you. And I think they're also really happy Taurus that you can, um, that you're, that you're also willing to take a leap of faith here with them. And yeah, they see you as a beautiful companion. They see you as loyal, tenacious, and giving very unselfish. And of course, there's a very strong physical attribute here or attribute rather, there's a very strong physical connection and attraction between the two of you. Please forgive me. Not really sure what's going on with my, um, with my speech. <laughs> All right. So the five of pentacles energy is what else we need to know. Again, I think you two mirror each other in a lot of ways. You both have experienced some pretty serious disappointment in love. Maybe two people who are very single or very, um, or just, you know, didn't think they would maybe meet that right person, wasn't, weren't sure they would, you know, call the right person in. But with the Wheel of Fortune and this confirmation of the Fate card, this is a destined partnership. 
Some distance will help bring clarity. There might be distance between you two that could be physical distance. And this is definitely a secret admirer coming out twice. All right. And the distance between you two, or if you haven't met this person yet, it may be because they need to heal and they need to clear some karma, right? Or they're not quite ready to open up that throat chakra, tell you how they're feeling. So Taurus, if you don't know who this person is, or if you're talking to this person, or you think you know who this person is, just understand that they, they are going to make themselves available. And we'll get some timing cards here too, but let's see. What else do my Taurus need to know about this connection? Yeah, there's potential here for a lasting love, a true love. And we've got honest communication here. So expect a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. So they're not going to keep that throat chakra blocked for very long. All right. Let's see. Clear messages, advice, and guidance, please. Important dates for my Taurus. We get March. So maybe some of you, you met this person or you've been interacting with this person since March. And we get March and April. So it's right now. And things will move quickly once this person um, makes that move is what I'm getting. All right, Taurus, I'm going to leave it here. I'm sending you so much love and light. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using, or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light. Take care.